What is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Garrick Stover and this vlog is all about my mental health and how I've been doing over the bulk. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's go. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. Some close stuff, that's what I told you soon. Alright, what up guys, so this vlog is all about my mental health and how that's going and how this bulk has affected me mentally. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of my physique update as well throughout this video and talking to you about that and that as well. You guys will be seeing that. Um, but what I really wanted to get into is the mental side of things because not too many people on YouTube or not too many people doing this in my space really talk about the mental aspect or at least what I've found. So today, I wanted to touch base on that and I wanted to show with you guys the real mental health and the real side effects mentally of doing a bulk. And lots of, lots of people are different, but this is what I found and this is what I see going on in my bulk. So first thing I want to come across to you guys is let you know that your body's going to change and as someone who's usually leaner, it can have an effect seeing you be, um, for lack of a better term, a little more fluffy we'll call it. Not, not as defined, and once you start to lose your data definition, you actually see some size. Um, at the start, before actual size and mass come, it can be very, very mentally um, fucking you, I'm going to say, just because it does hinder your mental results. It does hand hinder the way you think and about yourself. You look in the mirror, you don't look as defined, you don't look as shredded, and it actually feels like you're taking steps backwards. But after doing this for many years, and have, after understanding my body and understanding how the human body actually works, this is completely natural. This is something you've just got to go through when you're doing a bulk is you're going to go through a puffy phase, I like to call it, and that's what I refer to it with my clients, is that the puffy phase is kind of where you go from, you know, shredded or skinny or just thin uh, in general. When you start actually putting on size, you will look a little more Fluff, uh, fluffy, we're gonna call it the fluff phase. So that's one of the things you got to play with mentally is the fact that that's gonna be weighing on you. The fact that that is gonna, I don't wanna say hold you back, but it held me back at the start. It held me back from really pushing myself until I broke past it and realized this next step, which is actually that your body is going to change, but when it does change, it's gonna be beautiful, dude. It's gonna be awesome because um, when I first started, like, like I said, I was kind of like scalp, I was kind of like thrown off by the way my body was reacting to it, by the way I looked a little bit more fluffy, filled out, but actually once I started noticing the strength gains, and once I actually started seeing the size grow, it was a lot funner because I actually started to see those tangible results, I started to see actual physical changes in my body, and that actually started to put me in a positive mind state. So for anyone going through this right now, I just wanted to stress with this vlog that the stages of a bulk, it'll take you from, and again, this is depending on your starting space, but let's take two examples here. On this hand, you'll have the skinny person, and on this hand, you'll have the uh, he heavier or overweight person, or someone with a few extra pounds, we'll say. So let's start with the skinny guy, which was me to start. So I was trying, trying, trying to gain weight, and then you notice that you get to this point where you're looking a little fuller, you're looking a little um, puffier, fluffier, however you want to call it, and what happens is that it throws your mental game into a negative spot because you don't look as shred shredded, you think like, okay, I'm gaining this weight and the scale is looking heavier, but I'm just looking like I'm fatter almost, like I look like I've just gained weight. But then once you notice the strength and once you take into consideration actually the size of how you're growing and if you're doing it properly, it does turn in, into a positive thing and you do start seeing it as a positive thing inside your mental and it actually does push you to grind harder and go further. And once you understand this and really grab it, um, it did take me a few years to really let it sink in because I never did a bulk properly. So after it did sink in, it really hit home and that's when I started to see positive results and actually enjoy those results. Um, now on the other hand, if you're per se a heavier person, and you're trying to lose weight, uh, but also put on some size and strength at the exact same time. Well, this is also going to be uh, mentally negative for you at the start for the fact that when you're trying to lose weight, you're looking and you're expect expecting, at least I found with most of my clients, they're expecting to actually lose weight and see some changes on the scale and see their waistline shrink and see like their arms shrink. But when they see a little bit of shrinkage in their waistline, but the scales around the same, their arms are around the same size, they get frustrated. They don't understand what's going on. They don't understand why this is happening. Like I'm literally putting in so much work and this is the result, but you gotta look at the big picture. Per volume, so per, let's say you have a pound of fat and a pound of muscle. Well, the pound of fat will be a lot more 
or the pound down to muscle story will be a lot more than the pound down to fat will will because muscle weighs more than the fat per volume. So if you take that into consideration, if you're losing fat, so you're shrinking your body, but you're also gaining muscle, the scale will stay around the same spot until you know you reach gray later results you are going more consistently it's been a period of time so you add a little patience and to, to that and you will see results and it will change the mindset that you currently have but until then until you break past that until you actually see those results for yourself it's super hard to actually grip that and realize okay this is what's going on um for myself um, I was never like that. I was with the skinny guy going to the buff guy and then for lots of my clients I have seen the heavier person going to the buff person and I've seen it for both sides so I understand them a great deal and I work with lots of clients who actually deal with both are uh, not at the same time or not the same person but you know I deal with clients who, who uh, my spectrum of clients have dealt with both so I know this firsthand and I completely understand how it can actually hinder your pro progress when you're first starting out because those negative thoughts, those negative mindset traits that you have reoccurring in your mind will constantly leave you feeling defeated, will constantly leave you feeling frustrated, you won't really like the person in the mirror and at the start you're thinking like man this is a fucking grind and I'm putting all in into this, I'm going all in and like I'm not seeing the results I want and like that's super frustrating. Do you guys get that? Does, does that resonate with what I feel like? If it does, give me like this silent head nod or something just to show that you like understand this because like that's so true. When I was starting out my journey, it was a struggle to really um, get past that and it had me doing what I call a yo-yo diet and there's a number of variations of, of it but for myself, what it was more of was going from uh, bulk to shred, bulk to shred because I'd start to bulk and I'd start to get fluffy and that panic, I'd be like oh fuck. So I'd start to go into a shred to lose that weight and I wouldn't give my body enough time to really gain enough size, enough mass to really see big results. So it was like a little bit and then i get a little bit. So my scale was going up all the time but it was in such small increments that it was barely noticeable. It wasn't really much, it wasn't proper. It was just basically going back and forth, staying in the same spot. Like if this is zero, I was going up to three, coming down and going to minus three, coming back to zero, plus three, going down to minus three, you know? Like that wave was constantly coming back to neutral. So what I found out and what I've studied and what I've learned over the years is that that's not correct. That's not how it's done. And you got to break past that and take it all the way to 10 before you start calm, coming back down. And if you don't do it properly, you'll hit, hit zero again. You'll hit uh, the negative numbers while you'll be in a new neutral spot once again. So you have to know how to properly do that. Now, after years of studying and years of schooling and taking my personal training and ending course, new transitions course and all that good stuff, I've realized and I understand now that once you've been doing it for a consistent period of time, you have patience in why that you're doing so. By that I mean like you're willing to see it through, you're willing to break past that point of view, uh, feeling fluffy, you're feeling like you haven't strong gunk enough. Once you break past it and you actually start seeing results, that's only half the battle. You need to take that and everything you've learned along that way and use it to shred it again, but you also need to know a few things. One of the key things that I'm gonna tell you guys is in any shred process, you need, you need, you need, you need, I can't stress this enough. You need sufficient amount of protein. If you don't have sufficient amount of protein, what you're gonna do is in your shred, you are gonna lose muscle and fat. So all the muscle you worked really hard to gain is gonna go bye-bye. And as well as the fat, so that's cool, but you're gonna lose the muscle too. And then when you try and bulk again, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be adding that fat back and you're gonna be adding the muscle as well. But like I said, that fat's gonna become mommy back. And that's kind of where the yo-yoing comes in, right? So you'll be going back and forth, but you'll be yo-yoing each time, not really getting anywhere further, but not really getting anywhere f further, f uh, farther on the other end. So what you want to do is really a mixture of uh, the two, and you want to do it smart so you can have your body, you know, seeing those results when then you're failing out, when you're bulking, when you're putting on size and mass, and you'll see those strength gains, you'll see the mass gains in size, and then what yeah, you want to do is have sufficient protein, like I'm talking about, and a few other, the other things, but really have it dialing down so you can shred and just lose the fat. And then next time you choose to bulk again, maybe don't do a dirty bulk, maybe, maybe do super lean so you hold lots of the muscle mass. And again, this is just generally speaking, if you really wanted to deep dive into it, please hit me up because I'm always all open to help, I'm always open to talk. We, we can brainstorm some of the ideas and ways that you can get from point A to point B, and I can do it specifically for you, that's really not a problem. I just would love to do it for you simply watching this video and provide you with more val value, and for you to actually get some value added to this video would be awesome. So if that's something you want, hit me up, comment below, and we can get going on that. But as a general rule, this is something you want to follow. 
So how it can affect my mental and what it's done for me mentally is at the start, because I've gone through this cycle a few times, yes, I was a little bummed out, yes, I was a little choked, but um, I also had to eat a lot of the foods that I don't typically eat when I'm on a shred. So I got to eat pizza again, and me being a super skinny guy, me eating pizza and like my body wanting to be skinny, me eating pizza isn't really the end of the world. Um, I gotta do it in moderation because like I said, you can't spot train, you can't lose weight, and you don't add weight, and you don't add fat or lose fat in spots you want. It just comes where it comes. Each body's dev different, so with that being said, like I usually gain it around my midsection if I'm going to, and I got a lot of watch out with pizza and stuff, but that's really the only thing that happens. So as long as I keep that in check, I'm pretty good. And I'm, uh, I usually eat healthy anyway, so the mental aspect at this point doesn't really affect me too much, but I know what you guys could be going through, and I understand it. So, I just wanted to do this video today to kind of tell you guys both sides um, because I have been on that side where the skinny guy trying to get buff and I've been on, I, sorry, I've had clients who've been on the side of the overweight person trying to lose it while trying to gain weight or trying to gain mass, sorry, and both are equally frustrating, both are equally mind-fucking and it's just something you gotta go through on your fitness journey. Um, like, like I said, I am going to be doing a physique update to show you guys everything um, that's going on with me and how I'm looking currently, everything going on. This is about week four when I took, took this. We're currently in about uh, week five. The video I actually have for you guys is week four. I'll be updating you guys more relevantly around week eight to really show you guys where I'm at every four weeks with my physical and mental updates. So currently right now, how I'm feeling I'm feeling honestly fucking great. I've been crushing it at the gym. I've been crushing it about 80% with my diet. So this week my goal is to step up my diet a little bit to 100%. And it's only little things like um, a f not too many cheats, but just not the cleanest of meals. And I um, haven't got in my full four liters of water every day. So there's two things I want to really clean up in, in my diet. And that'll really put my mental back on track. Now that I'm kind of past the fluffy phase, I'm actually getting my strength back. Um, I am feeling great, my mental's in check, and I'm feeling apt as fuck to go about this. I got a few things in my life that are kind of making my mental game a little bit weaker, but we're fixing those as well. I will let you guys know about that more in a vlog or a live going on. So, to summarize all of this, the mental aspect of this is a big part of it. Um, if you aren't in it, if you don't feel like you're win winning, it'll affect your performance, it'll affect your output, and everything else that comes from that. So. What I want you guys to do to help your mental game and to help you actually get on track is understand that it's part of the process, it's part of the learning curve, it's part of the journey, everyone goes through it. You are not alone, my friend. You are not alone. I hope you guys found some value in this. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you who view my vlogs. It means the world to me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Much love. My name is Garrick Stover. I'm the founder and CEO of Reps Up and REOA Apparel and the new host of Grow, Hustle, Motivate podcast. Now, if you would be so kind as to give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and maybe a comment down below of what you took away from this video, or even a hashtag, I'm here to let me know that you're here viewing this, it would mean the world to me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Leg out.